Hello there! Ever wondered how to get rid of some unnecessary rows and columns? We're going to learn how to delete in both directions in this lecture. First, we will introduce how to delete specified columns and rows. You can do this with numbers or names. Then, we will also learn how to delete by conditions. To delete a specified column, Call the drop function. For example, here we are dropping the city column. So data dot drop and city. Notice that after the column name, you have to put number one here. Why? Because in the drop function, one means column and zero means row. Now run this, and the city column is gone. Again, here we did not modify the original data, so it still has the city column. If you want to delete more than one column at a time, pass a list of column names. For example, data dot drop and a list here, and we drop city column and customer name column. The direction parameter is still set to 1 for column. Run this again. Both columns are gone. You can easily use the same function to delete some rows. Now think about it. How can you delete one row? Yes, just data dot drop and drop row 5 and 0 for row operation. Run this, and you can see row 5 is gone. Alright, how can you drop more than one row at a time? You knew this, right? Just by passing a list of rows. For example, data dot drop and a list here, there are 2 and 4 and 7. Now, direction should be 0. Run this, and they are all gone. So far, you are able to delete any rows or columns that you know you want. But what if you don't know exactly which ones you want to get rid of? Well, we have tackled similar circumstances before, when we were selecting a part of the data frame by conditions. We used bool expression, right? So, how should we delete by conditions? If you really think about it, select and delete are actually opposite actions. That means you can achieve the other one by doing this one backwards. That's it, you got the solution. Let's say we want to delete customer records from Germany. All you have to do is to select with the opposite condition data and data dot country not equal to Germany. And I should put a comment here so you don't get confused. Drop customers from Germany. Excellent. Let's run this. And all the customers from Germany are gone. Excellent. So let's do an example for numerical values as well. Our target is to drop any customer with an ID smaller or equal to 50. So its equivalent form in selection is data and data dot customer ID larger than 50. That's it. Run this. Perfect. That's all for this lecture. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lecture.